Cleanup efforts are underway in parts of southwest Oklahoma after the deadly storms wreaked havoc across the area. Our 7 News reporter Phoebe Florian has more on the cleanup underway in Duncan, who was impacted by severe flooding. Phoebe? Tara, the National Weather Service confirms at least 25 tornadoes touched down over the weekend so far, rating as an EF3 or higher. The National Weather Service Office of Norman reported 62 tornado warnings on Saturday, a new record for warnings they issued in a single day. Our first alert, Storm Hunter, powered by Apache Casino Hotel, was out beginning Friday night, capturing these images of what turned out to be deadly weather making its way across Oklahoma. While many areas dealt with those deadly tornadoes and high winds, it was a slightly different story for Duncan. While wind toppled this gas station canopy, city officials have been dealing with flash flooding across the area. I spoke with one woman whose apartment flooded. When the storm hit, um, it, I was two, two buildings over, and um, when I got here, my floor was flooded. I had about four inches to five inches of rain. She says being in a wheelchair, she has to rely on other people for help. Flooding from the floor, not the ceiling. Um, how do I feel? Overwhelmed. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot for me. City officials with Duncan say there were 12 high water rescues of vehicles and luckily nobody was in any of them. They say most of these rescues were on Highway 81 before they ultimately decided to close the road from Bordark to Elder Avenue when people tried to drive through the flood waters. Officials say any damage affecting city property are expected to be repaired by the end of the week. Until then, the traffic lights that are out will act as stop signs until crews can get out to repair them. Overall, more than 100 people were injured by this weekend's storms and four people were killed. Reporting live in Lawton for 7 News, I'm Phoebe Florian.